Hi YouTube, one of my cabinets just contains loads of different pine cones from various conifers. Um, this massive one you're seeing here is from a coulter pine. Uh, it's absolutely huge. Um, it's kind of squashed in here so it's hard to see how big it is. But um, yeah, trust me, it's massive. Then I have a sugar cone pine here. Um, so the coulter pine is the heaviest um, cone in the world and the sugar cone pine is the longest. Um, I've got a smaller sugarcane pine here, and this one I just got at a car boot sale, which is almost identical to the one I've got in my cabinet. And I was giving, giving it for free, basically. I went up and picked it up on a car boot sale table, and the woman said, oh, you can have that if you want. So I've taken it, and I thought, because I've got one already that's exactly the same, I'm just going to paint it up and make it look metal. So here it is separately, just so you can have a sort of closer look at it. Um, really nice shape cone this. Um, the largest specimens of these are absolutely massive. They're, I think they're something like 70 centimetres long or maybe even longer. Um, very impressive and I haven't got one quite that long. But uh, anyway, this one I'm going to start by painting it black. But first of all, there's something else I can do to it just to kind of uh, add a bit of extra texture to it. So I've got these little stick-on plastic uh, things. They, they look a little bit like little kind of jewels or diamonds or something. But actually, you know, when you first put them on, they look hideous because they just sort of add a bit of bling to the pine cone. But actually, when you paint these up, they can look sort of a bit like rivets or something. Um, so that's why I've done it. Um, you might have seen my other video where I made a sort of a Mad Max style VW Beetle. And I used these all over that as well, just to give the effect of uh, rivets on the metal. So next, after I've stuck all these on, I've painted the whole cone um, very dark. I wanted to do it black, but um, I didn't have any black paint in the end. So I've, I've ended up just making a really, really dark brown colour. Um, just by mixing very dark red with very dark green, basically. Then the next thing to do is to dry brush the whole thing with silver paint. Now, if you haven't done dry brushing before, what you basically do is uh, get some silver paint on your brush and then you really um, dry your brush on a bit of kitchen paper till it's almost dry. There hardly needs to be any paint on at all. And then you're just brushing this over the top surfaces of all of these kind of um, separate sections of the pine cone. And what it does is it just catches those um, upper surfaces and it leaves all of the dark brown colour in all of the deepest parts. Um, so it gives a really nice effect of like old metal. It's really hard to see in this video, which is a real shame because in real life, it, this thing totally looks like it's made of metal. Um, I hope you get some idea of it, but um, like I say, it's not ideal on this video. But give it a try yourself because you'll see um, that sort of dark brown colour actually looks quite... Um, sort of not rusty but kind of almost I suppose you could uh, add a bit of like uh, rusty colored brown paint on as well before you do the silver but the silver should be the very last thing you dry brush on uh, to give this effect I quite like this it's made my pine cone into something completely different looking compared to the first one I had and um, I thought because I've got two that look the same I might as well do this it was a nice little project didn't take long at all, so well worth giving it a go if you get a chance. Thanks for watching. Um, check out my other videos to see uh, similar things that I've made. Uh, check out my other sculpts and hit subscribe to see anything I post up in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.